Hey guys, this was just announced today, Friday, September 10th, on the Fractal Forum. Cliff posted this. Now just listen to this. <laughs> As Cliff says, the patch uses only an amp and a cab block. The room simulation in the cab block is off. Okay, and here's one more. So those were recorded direct. Those were not recorded with a microphone. People were guessing that it was an impulse response change. And that's what it turned out to be. Here it is. Axe FX3 firmware release notes for version 17.00. Now, just going to say this right up front first. It hasn't been released yet. But this is the announcement about it. It's an upcoming firmware release. Anyway, version 17 introduces full-res impulse response processing. Full-res processes IRs up to 64K points with zero latency using a novel technique. This provides up to 1.33 seconds of response time. Seasoned producers and engineers often mix in room mics during recording to increase the depth and liveliness of recordings. However, the typical live room has a reverb time of 500 to 700 milliseconds, well beyond the 20 milliseconds offered by typical IR processing. Full res allows capturing the full response of a typical live room and even the response of small to medium halls and clubs. Full res can also be used for convolution reverb applications for reverb times less than 1.33 seconds. The IR player block and the cabinet block both support full res IRs. The last two slots of the cabinet block support full res. This is sufficient to provide two room mics, a left and a right, along with two direct mics within a single cabinet block. The new full res user IR bank supports up to 64 full res IRs. When capturing an IR, selecting the user FR bank will automatically set the IR type to full res. Likewise, when setting the IR type to full res, the bank will automatically be set to user FR. Full res IRs can be processed with minimum phase or auto trim if desired. However, minimum phase is not recommended as this will tend to destroy the reflection information. A full res scratch pad is also implemented for auditioning IRs during the capture process. A new version of Cab Lab is forthcoming which will support full res IR captures and management. So of course the place went crazy and Cliff didn't announce anything for a while. But then he did come back with some answers. One, this will currently, and there's an emphasis on currently later on through this forum, this will currently only be available on the Axe FX3 Mark II. Our other products do not have the NV memory to store the large IRs. I will look into ways of possibly supporting this on the other products. The Mark II has double the NV memory of the Mark I. All the NV memory on the Mark I is allocated. If the demand is great enough, one possibility is to reduce the number of slots in the user IR banks and allocate the freed memory to full res slots. Number two, the CPU usage is not too bad. A full res IR uses about 10% more CPU than a regular IR. I haven't done that much work on optimization, so it may be possible to reduce this. Number three, the primary use is for room mics and short to medium convolution reverbs. The two clips I posted were done using room mic IRs from Celestion. Those IRs were 500 milliseconds. Number four, I'm hoping IR vendors will embrace the technology and start offering room mic IRs with at least one second of response time. This assumes they use a suitable live room to do their captures. Number five, we are going to our local studio in the coming months and we will shoot a bunch of room IRs there. They have a very nice live room with good acoustics. Number six, a new version of Cab Lab is in the works that supports the creation of full res IRs. So guys, that's it for right now. Uh, it hasn't been announced when this, uh, when this firmware update will be coming out. And the, the discussion right now is he wants to know 
is there enough demand from people with the Mark I unit, like most of us have, to want these um, full res IRs? And most of the people are saying, yes, do away with some of the user banks, allow us to have the full res um, banks on, on those ones. So as soon as I get any more information, I will post it. But I thought this needed to get up there, just nothing else, so that you're aware of it. And when it comes out, so you guys with the Mark II, you can go ahead and download it. Um, and maybe even by the time that they have this actually ready to put out, they will have the option for Mark I. Don't know that yet right now. Again, this is just a brand new <laughs> a brand new announcement that they put out with. So, you know, I'm just scrambling to get it out here for you guys. All right. See you next week. Have a good one.